Hey, buddy. Hey. 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 What are you doing? Why is it every single time we open the fridge, you just run over here, and then we have... Really? You just, you just let him? Can you put... Can you put those back? Hey, can you put those back? Are you kidding me? You're gonna be mowing so much when you're older. Hey! Yeah! <sighs> but hello everyone, welcome back to another vigity vloggity vloggity vlog. Someone suggested that we call our vlog Positive vlog, P A U S E, to vlog. <laughs> is that is that is that too cheesy? I kind of like it. I kind of like it, right? All right. So today, I'm gonna put our kid down. Cooking with parents, which is one of the most difficult things to do. We're gonna be <laughs> making one of the best. Actually, they're really delicious. And if you guys are like ever do like paleo or anything like that, or you need to be gluten free, or gluten free, these are paleo chocolate chip cookies. So, oh, watch out! He's come to help. Has this is, it's basically cooking with obstacles. Yeah, it's <laughs> trying not to step on little tiny. It's ridiculous. Hands. So, what do we got going on here? We have okay. butter. Okay, we got coconut palm sugar, coconut flour, almond butter, butter, uh, almond flour, eggs. And by the way, these are in jars or in cups because this helps them um, become room temperature quicker if you need them quickly, which I took them. Yeah, see, I took them out an hour ago and they're... Oh yeah, that's pretty much room temperature. It's a little cooler. Yeah, here. another half hour and they'd be perfect, but we're just gonna do it anyways. Salt, uh, vanilla extract, and baking soda. Some Himalayan pink sea salt. Nom, 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 nom. Man, oh I, yeah, and chocolate chunks. Well, of course. Because it's gotta be chunks. We need the chocolate chocolates in there. They're enjoy life. They are brown sugar, cocoa mass, and cocoa butter. There's only three ingredients. So, so these cookies, good. like if you guys are a big fan of chewy cookies, these cookies are the bomb diggity. And another good thing is you can put them in the fridge and they still stay like the perfect temperature. Yeah, I think they're better after they've been in the fridge. Yeah. They get kind of like super chewy. They're like super chewy when you put them in the fridge and they're they're really good like if you have just like a scoop of vanilla ice cream with it and then you like crush the cookie in there. Oh, it's so delicious. Oop. Okay, so what we're doing is this recipe calls for using weight, which is probably why I've only, this is the only successful paleo cookies I've ever made, is because it's so exact. But um. But isn't baking always exact? Like cooking, cooking's more experimental. No, because the, the weight of an item might not always be like an exact cup of the item, but the weight's always gonna be the same. So if you have like, it says a cup of blanched almond flour, but or 100 grams. And I know 100 grams with this flour is just like a little bit more than the cup. So it's like... Is this even teared properly? It says two. Oh, I guess not. Oh, well, it's okay. Oops. Yeah, it says two. And I forgot two. Right there. <laughs> you forgot right two? There. I forgot to clean I used this earlier with almond flour and I forgot to actually clean it and use it. Oh, well, here we go. No, it's not teared, you're right. So I'm just using a container and tearing. Oh, the reason I'm tear I'm doing it in a separate bowl too is because it has to be sifted. If you want to do any baking for like cookies or like fine stuff with almond flour, you have to sift it. And I'm really lazy, so I bought the finest I could find, and I use a really big sifter because it takes too long to do it the other way. Are you being noisy? Child. Are you being noisy? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, you're gonna have some chocolate chip cookies after too. Oh yeah. They're delicious. He, he had his first little Captain Crunch today. God damn it. Don't feed the baby Captain Crunch. All right, so change of plans. New bowl, new Bigger tear. Bowl. Cause I was just making a mess. <laughs> I'm not a professional, so this is like really poorly executed. 
Oh god, it takes forever. Why don't you, you should get like one of those, because isn't there like a zipper thing where you just go like this and it zips it? Yeah, I had one originally that was like one of those doodly doos, but I don't like it because it took too much effort. <laughs> I just, they, dudes. I just wish they sold this stuff really fine in Canada. Apparently, Americans can get it finer than we can. That's because Americans get like awesome Amazon, like Prime and that, whereas Canada is terrible. Yeah. Oh. And apparently, Amazon friends. Prime is terrible in Canada because of Quebec laws. Because of Quebec. <laughs> of course. So that was 100 grams? That was 100 grams. It's 100 grams? Yeah. No. Well, yeah. Should we be preheating the oven? Oh yeah, right. Um, 350. 350. Please. I got this. I believe in you. Yeah. So, there's not gonna be any decent way of doing like movie magic here. I have a podcast in an hour, and I didn't realize that the cookie dough needs to chill for like how long, you say, Andrea? Half an hour at least. So the cookie dough needs to chill for half an hour. So the next time you see us, when we start baking the cookies, it's gonna be a brand new day, but they're still gonna be delicious. All right, so what's the next step here? I still think we should have committed to just wearing the same clothes a second time. I'm not wearing <laughs> the same clothes. Uh, okay, anyways, next is coconut flour, 32 grams or a quarter cup. This also has to be sifted, but it's not as annoying as the coconut flour. Whoa. What did I say, 32 grams? Yeah. You need a better kitchen scale, I think. Cause, yeah, see? <laughs> what? How's that make any sense? I don't know, it wasn't like completely centered. It's like, whatever, I think that's probably 32. Anyways, pop it in there. All in the same bowl. Yeah. So we got a solution for whenever the baby gets too cranky. Hey. Baby backpack time. Baby backpack. Okay, so one one tisp of baking soda. One tisp? One teaspoon? One tisp. That's what the, the recipe says, one tisp. One tisp. Yeah. There we go. Got all that. And the bowl so far. Quarter tisp of I actually have a quarter tisp. Isn't it isn't it adorable? It's so cute. A quarter tisp of salt. Now why do you choose to use pink Himalayan sea salt? Is that what it asked for? No, I just use pink I use Himalayan pink sea salt for everything. Pink Himalayan sea salt is so delicious by the way. There's uh what's that chocolate place that we always get chocolates from? Where it's always like Oh, 12 um, for 12 or something stupid like that. that chocolate here, I don't remember what they're called. Gertie's? Gertie's chocolate here? Know. Something like that. Chocolate Anyways, they have pink chocolate. Himalayan sea salt caramel chocolates. Oh my god, I love pink Himalayan sea salt. So what are you good. doing here? You just... Oh, I just stirred all the dry stuff together so it's all mixed up. Okay, now, put it aside for now. Six tablespoons of butter or 84 grams. So six tablespoons or 84 grams. So I assume this is why. Six tablespoons is about a quarter cup. But thankfully we have grams. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I really like it for because measuring out tablespoons of butter is really annoying. I thought you said 64. 84. Oh, 84. Oh, that said 88. Whatever. I thought you said you like this because it's like it's exact weight and all that and now you're like, well, For the flowers, whatever. it seems to be the most important. I don't know. No, it's like, I like it because it's quicker for me rather than having to use a bunch of tablespoons. She lying. No, oh, I'm not lying. Anyways, it's it said when I pulled it off, 84, so sure I don't know. It did. It did. Buddy, did, it, did it say 84? He doesn't okay. care. 150 grams of coconut sugar. So 150 grams sugar. Coconut sugar. I use uh, coconut sugar because it has a low, what did they say, lower glycemic index, and it's less sweet than regular sugars too. But don't worry, when we say less sweet, it still tastes very sweet. It's yeah. just less. Yeah, just, I don't know, I'm used to not sweet stuff now, because, holy moly, 150 grams. Anyways, you can use regular sugar, but I would like err on the side of maybe a little bit less if you used regular sugar. Close enough. Whatever. Close enough. Yep. 
Baking is supposed to be precise. Cooking is not. Some cooking, I think, needs to be precise, doesn't it? No. Nothing ever was ever precise in cooking? No, nothing. I don't know. Hannibal Lecter looks pretty, uh... Like so what are you doing her? Oh, um... Hannibal Lecter. Before get into, like, eating humans. Before I... I need to mix this with a mixer for a while, but I sort of need to... Since the butter is not quite melty, I need to squish it together a bit. Pre-mix it. Warmth. Yeah. Pre-mix? Pre -mix? Yeah, I hate doing this. This is my least favorite thing, so I usually try to... What do you call it? Make sure it's room temperature. Oops, when I start. See, and then that happens. So, like, what does it matter if I didn't measure to the exact right gram, right? Um, combine the fat and sugar at medium speed for about a minute. Now, I, I don't know. I don't have an actual mixer, so I just use this and I just put it oh, up. Oh, hand mixer? Yeah, it has it has seven speeds, so I just do it at three. <laughs> I don't think you need that big of a speed. Anymore. Well, it says to do it on medium. Okay, it says to beat it for a minute, but I'm lazy. I'm sure if someone goes in here and bakes this properly, it'll turn out even better. I don't got time to wait. Beat in almond butter. And vanilla extract. There's almond butter in this bad boy? Oh yeah. I didn't even know. Oh yeah. So how much? 90? 90, 98 grams. 98 grams of almond butter. butter. I didn't realize that the, yeah, I didn't even know there's almond butter in this bad boy. I know, right? It's amazing. So it's like one of those Bud Fe BuzzFeed Tasty videos. Yeah, but we're less awesome. I can't eat most of this stuff. Dude, those BuzzFeed Tasty videos, before I go to bed, I watch like... 80 of them. I don't believe And then I go to bed super hungry. I hate it. <laughs> Freaking Facebook. Uh, one and a half tisps of vanilla extract. This so one, one and a half One teaspoon? and a half tisps, yeah. This is a half tisp, but I'm gonna do three of them. As long as the baby doesn't like move around too much. Oops, I'm spilling it. If some spills in, you just like do less than the thing. <laughs> Cook it with Andrea. <sighs> Okay, thank God I'm reading the recipe here because I took out two eggs because I was going to make a double recipe, but I only need one, so I'm glad I noticed that. <laughs> just making a mess, no big deal. Wait, Ooh. why are you putting it by itself? Just to, in case there's any yuckies in it. Don't want to ruin the rest of the dough, right? Like, say what are yuckies? Egg. Like eggshell? Like if it's a bad egg or something, and it's also easier to get out eggshells. But you know, sometimes you get like those weird red eggs, or what if you like a baby chick came out? The red like that there? No, that's fine. That's just the what do you call it? An the organic egg thing. So you whisk the egg. I don't think you really need to, but I just sort of started along. I love that we have a dishwasher. Okay, egg. Beat an egg all night. Okay, so stir in flour mixture until well combined. And I use the mixer still. I don't know if you're not supposed to or what, but it seems to do the job. I put in about a quarter at a time. I think that's what would be really cool to have an actual mixer for, is because then you could just like, it'd be all moving and you'd just be like, bah, bah, you know? <laughs> you don't have to put all this effort into it and keep stopping and starting a thousand times. You get to this point and suddenly you're pushing two water bottles in your Costco cart. So you pretty much the cart. Okay, so see the recipe even says that we should chill it for an hour. So clearly I cut corners a lot when I make this recipe. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize how much cutting of the cord like these cookies, if she actually cook like does this all the time, imagine how much better they're gonna be if she actually properly followed the instructions. Oh my god, that's just too much persnickety bullshit though. I ain't got time for that. I gotta 
Baby, that's like a thousand degrees on my back. Ugh. Okay, so now we just fold in the, or stir in the chocolate chips. What do we use? And it says... The whole bag. It says one and a quarter cup, which is about half the bag. But if you want, I'll really, really want me to, I'll put in the whole bag. I don't want the entire bag in there. That'd be gross. What does it say? 213 grams. See how much is in this bag. Even the chocolate chips are measured. 293. So technically, it's supposed to be almost this entire bag. Don't do it. Oh, I didn't even like. <laughs> Way to cut that. Right? You didn't even cut it open. <laughs> you definitely cut it, just not open. Oh my god. That's a reasonable amount, but it's not like a crazy amount. It just looks so delicious. Right? Oh, and they're so sticky, so chilling them makes it so much more easy to put them on the baking sheet after. No? Nope. Alright, so now what do we do here? Now we chill it. Now we chill it for how long? Let it chill. Technically an hour, but half an hour. But I guess we're going to actually be leaving it until tomorrow, aren't we? Yep. That's okay. It'll be even easier to roll them into balls for the thing. So part two tomorrow. <laughs> I want to eat them now. <laughs> Don't fall <laughs> while I'm yawning. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Hey guys. It's like part two kind of. It's kind of, kind of late. Not really. It's 21 seconds. It's 916. Where's, where's the bear? The bear is sleeping right now. It's day two. Get a little focus. Look at that. How crazy is that? Night vision. Night what vision, like. When it knows what it's doing and it's not confused by daytime. Oh. We good? Are we good? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our, our dough. We chilled, it for we chilled it for like maybe a bit more than was 30 hours around there you know <laughs> but uh andrea said that it's gonna be fine so i don't know what the next step is here we oh by the way we have our we oven preheated the oven to 350 degrees it's been preheated for like 30 minutes because i was watching hannibal because i thought her episode was almost done <laughs> it wasn't almost done yeah usually hannibal took in, forever usually comes in at the last 10 minutes of the episode like unerringly without fail every time and it's usually a season finale it's a superpower of mine but yeah just a little reminder it's like day two technically so we do look a little bit different than the last scene you did check out it's too bad one of us didn't like lose an eye in the intro know, or right? that would have been so funny anyway so we are using this amazing product get a pen put parchment paper parchment, parchment paper. paper not just for baking it's really good for everything the environment because you can put it into oh yeah that's right it's also environmentally friendly because you can put it in kitchen organics which is very nice but no you can use it for everything you don't have to use foil you can use this instead like it's not the same as making a foil packet if you make a parchment paper packet but i mean just for lining stuff yeah it's a nice easy cleanup we also use it for like baking bacon and it works oh, so tremendously nice. It's like it soaks up a little of the grease, but it like not all of it. All right. Okay, so what I usually do is I um I measure how much dough is in the bowl, and then I split it up. But really, I don't feel like doing that right now. So let's just guess. Oh. Let's just guess. Pro tip: <laughs> Don't put this on the oven when you're doing it because it will melt the dough. And if it's like a paleo dough, you don't want it to get melty. Oh yeah, we left it out a bit too long. Did okay, we? so this is gonna be a bit difficult. Well, I asked, and you were like, I thought it'd be fine. Look at it, but our house is so warm. I know. Okay, so just it's been like a hot two days, like super high 20s. So what's, okay, you're just making. Okay, well, I'm not just making them ugly cookies. <laughs> is that how you just, you just plop them on and put them no, in just, the oven? Uh, no, I just am trying to separate them sort of evenly into 12. And I'm not going to form them until I have them distributed. Wow, my brain. Nighttime recording for me is just like a nightmare. Yeah. We. Sorry, y'all. We missed time yesterday. It probably would have been a lot better if we recorded one session, but it's fine. It's fine. Is it fine? I don't know if it's fine it's, or not. <laughs> we get more cookies. Right? You get cookies, it's fine. Who cares how it has to happen as long as there's cookies? Oh, these look somewhat. These look kind of. Anyways, squish them into balls. Oh my god. 
And then immediately tell which ones have too much in them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can combine two cookies together, right? I'm not making you make a super Making a giant cookie. cookie. No. You said you would. You don't, with great power comes great responsibility. Well, be responsible. Make daddy pause. <laughs> I'm never wow, myself. that's just not gonna get you. That is, I'm never calling myself Daddy Paws again. Thank you. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> Video it's evidence. Pretty gross. <laughs> okay, so now because the dough is so wet, it's all over my hands. Okay, so it's this recipe is to make 12, so that's why I rolled into 12. But also, these are gonna spread, so I don't know. It's gonna look really ugly, but they're super delicious. So I squish them down just a bit. They don't really need it though. They're gonna be fine. Because you don't like, I know like with uh, certain cookies, you could like take like a fork. These are so soft though. Ooh, yeah. Like, look how, wait. Focus. Focus. Really? Focus. This camera is the worst. See why you hate this camera? There we go. Ew, yeah, it's all like slimy. Wash your hands, please, after that. Just eating it? Yuck. Oh my gosh, it just sticks. It's because of the almond butter, I think. Oh god, it's so tasty. Did you steal some? No. Did you wash your hands before we started? I, I took it from I'm the just bowl. I, I took don't it care. from the bowl. <laughs> I really don't care. Anyways, I'm like that. I let my kid eat food off the ground and I don't care if people wash their hands when they cook. Anyways, here it goes into the oven. I think you are supposed to bake these for 11 to 14 minutes. I'm just gonna do them for 14. Oh. Let Come on in. in. Of course, she hears, she hears the oven going and she's like, Oh hell yeah. Zelda's superpower is hearing the scrape of a fork on a plate from 500,000 miles away. Yeah. Kilometers, sorry, I'm not American. Anyways, <laughs> time for the, the cookies to bake. Let's, <laughs> let's check it out. Wow. So that beeping means the cookies are done. Oh snap. Snap a doo. Oh snap. Oh my god. <laughs> they look so, so delicious. They get so silly and massive. I can't wait to watch that in the, the time lapse video <laughs> to see them like get all flattened out and everything. Well, as you can tell, they're a little bit big. They're kind of, you know having the amoeba effect kind of morphing into one. Turn off your oven so it's not super duper hot in the house in the summer. Yeah, which we always fail to do. So what's the next step? They cool on the cookie sheet. They cool on the cookie sheet. Yeah. They cool on the cookie sheet. Well, so for let's however do it. long that takes. Cookie sheet it up. <laughs> okay, so I miss I misunderstood Andrea. And I thought we were using like those metal sheets where there's like the grills and everything. But no, we let these cool on the, the sheet for a little bit and then we like to throw them in the fridge for a little bit. Cause like, like we said, when they're cooled off, they are so much better. Right now they're super gooey. Ew. Yeah, they sort of harden up a bit and then they get real chewy. Yeah, but they look delicious nonetheless. <laughs> it feels so weird to sit here with a, a freaking cookie. cookie. All right, guys, so we let these sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes here. I got myself a delicious cup of miggity milk and... Uh, I don't drink milk. I don't drink milk Out either. Of a cup. But I felt like aesthetically with cookies, you know, you need it, right? <laughs> He's made me wait too long. I had to wait for the cookies to cool. <laughs> it's okay. It's bad We're good. news bears. We're good. Don't do it. Oh, they're so chewy when they've been in oh the Oh my fridge. god, I got like milk drip. I look so piggish right now. Wow. Oh my god, it's so good though. Mm. So good. Anyways, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know some of you guys said that you guys like the cooking vlogs. 
And if you guys do enjoy it, we, we, we Andrea and myself, we talked over it. And we were thinking of like doing like once, one, a, one once a week. That's the word I was looking for. So if you guys do want to see more, be sure to hit that like button. I know I'm pandering for likes, but that's because I'm a vlogger. God, now we're, now we're held accountable now that you've said it to the entire universe. I know. So, but we have, she has lots of recipes. Like this is, would you consider this a healthy cookie? Mm-hmm. Obviously not one that you like eat as a diet, but I mean like. It's pretty low carb. Yeah. If you didn't put chocolate chips or if you put real dark chocolate in them, they'd be basically breakfast cookies. But I mean like this is significantly healthier than like an Oreo, you know. Mm-hmm. But anyways, guys, that's mm. going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we are enjoying this cookie. <laughs> and we will talk with you guys later. Bye. Big mess. Maybe mess. I wasn't recording. Really? <laughs>